I remember many times praying on somebody and maybe we don't see the miracle right then. Yes. But then you may come back the next night and that person that was in a wheelchair is jumping in the front row. Standby program. Cameras rolling. Faded audio. I swear the bar of miracles. We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where we take a closer look at the salvations, the miracles, the signs, the wonders that the Holy Spirit is doing across the nations of the globe. Today we have a friend of the ministry, our good friend, Andrew Schneider. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Listen, thank you so much for taking the time to come out here today. We're gonna to be talking about the different gospel campaigns that you've been, your experiences. We're gonna talk specifically today about Belize, but before we watch, a highlight video on Belize. I want you to talk to us about how you've integrated ministry and family together. I know that you've gone to a couple of gospel campaigns with your family. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure, thank you. Um, my wife got the opportunity to be in Belize with us and that was an incredible experience for her. Um, also my son, Case, and my oldest son, he got the opportunity to go on a gospel crusade and just the impact that it had in his life was, you can't even put into words the impact of actually going from just hearing of what God can do to actually see, you know, the miracle signs and wonders. It, it really was life changing for him. And see, that's so powerful because if you think about a gospel campaign, we're there to be a blessing to the people that are in so much need, yet God will also touch us. We will have that encounter with the Lord. Before we go into the video, Talk to us about your encounters and these gospel campaigns and how you've been affected. Yeah, for sure. So uh, my first gospel crusade was in Mexico, Monterey, Mexico. And, you know, I think many times in life, going through life, growing up in a church and different things, um, a lot of times we think maybe God hasn't called me specifically uh, for signs, wonders, and miracles, but God has actually called each and every one of us. And Amen. just getting an opportunity to go out and let God use us. You know, like I said, maybe maybe you think, you know, I'm, I'm not called or I don't have what it takes or I don't have gifting or I don't have this or I don't have that, but it's not you, it's God inside of us that's doing it. So even though we might not have, think that we have the ability of ourselves, we don't, it's all the Holy Spirit. So Amen. just to be able to put that into work and see God move is, was very life-changing for me. That's so powerful, and I love what you're saying because God is not looking for titles or positions. He's just looking for yielded vessels that can say, yes, Lord, if you can use me, I'm willing to be obedient. Let's Amen. watch this highlight video and just take a look at everything that the Lord did in the nation of Belize. Jesus La sangre de Jesús has lost none of its power. No ha perdido su poder. Can I tell you? Te puedo decir, the blood of Jesus. La sangre de Jesús still has the power. Todavía tiene el poder to save in Belize. Para salvar to Belize. Heal in Belize. Para sanar en Belize. I'm gonna pause it right there because as I see the multitudes, by the way, Belize is a nation where the population is under 400,000. So it's a nation that the population is not high, yet the gospel is being preached. And as I see the multitudes, from your perspective, you're part of the prayer team, you've seen God move in a special way. When you see the crowds, do you see the multitudes or do you hone on on a specific family, on a specific person? And what does that mean to how the Lord sees these people as well? That's a good question. You know, I, I think both. I think, I think you look out and you see as people flood to the altars and, you know, we're for, we're for souls. We want to see Amen. as many as we can come to Jesus. But at the same time, I think it's a supernatural thing that it's not only is it a huge multitude, but it's actual individuals that Amen. lives are being touched and you're touching individual lives with the power of God and lives are being transformed individually, but it's in a group setting where the Holy Spirit is coming into a room and when the Holy Spirit comes into that room, it begins to change and maybe for one person it's one thing and for one person it's another thing, but it's, it's, it's a powerful thing as, as people come Amen. together as one to experience a move of God. That's so good, I love that, I love that because though 
it's a corporate setting where thousands are together, yet the Lord knows each one of them. He knows Amen. their story. And as we look at Belize, what was the most significant thing that you experienced, whether you prayed for somebody or you saw the Lord move? What was significant about Belize for you? Yeah, so the interesting story, you asked the question, do you, do you see individual people or do you see just a group of people? Belize was a trip that I got the opportunity to take my wife. She had never been on a gospel crusade. She had never been really outside of the country and as far as Latin America. And there was a girl, we were praying, mm -hmm. we were praying for a guy and she had seen a young woman that was pregnant. And, but we were praying for a guy and by the time we were done praying for this guy, she said, this, that woman, I really feel like we need to pray for that woman. We wow. really need to pray for that woman. And so she began to look and we began to look and kind of walk through the place trying to find this young girl that was pregnant wow. and we never found her. But as we left the arena that night, we were standing outside the arena and we were actually taking a group photo with all of the, with you and the prayer team and everything like that. That girl was literally sitting on a bench right in front of us. And so God, we were able to pray for her and she began to weep and God moved on her life. But it, it, it just shows you the goodness of God that Amen. God will, not only will he point somebody out to you, but God will also bring them right to a place where they need to be. So that was, that was a powerful experience wow, just wow. of how much God loves people. That is amazing. That is amazing. All for the one. He put the 99 sheep to go after the one. Amen. Let's continue watching this video and we're going to see some of the miracles that the Lord did in the nation of Belize. You, you walk with this? Yeah. So you can see out of this eye? Two. How many fingers? Tres. And when I, they prayed for me, the pain that I had, it disappeared. Somebody say hallelujah. Lord Jesus, wash me. Limpia me. In your precious blood. I repent of my sin. Holy Spirit, Espíritu baptize me now. Bautiza me ahora. With fire. Amazing, amazing. You know, people don't realize this. Belize is part of Central America, yet 50% of the population speaks English. 50% speak Spanish. So that was very interesting to be in a setting where you had so many different backgrounds from some different nations that have come together to the nation of Belize. As I saw you praying, there was a picture there with you and your wife together praying. You mentioned, you talked about your wife, but talk to us about the importance of allowing Christ to be the center of a family and doing ministry together. You both are praying for the sick. And at the same time, talk to us, what does it mean when you actually see the Lord bring healing to a family or to an individual? You know, you no matter, you no matter how many times I've seen the Lord do miraculous healings and you see God move, you just, it never gets old. Amen. It's, you just, there's just something inside of you. You just begin to weep as you see the Lord touch lives just because, you know, there's, there's many people that come to these events that they've never really seen healing. They've never really seen an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, so they come hungry. So I always, you know, I'm always talking to God and praying to God, say, Lord, let, let this opportunity that we have to touch a life, use me, Lord. Let me get out of the way. Let us get out of the way so that you can move in this opportunity because you never know that opportunity when you stand in front of somebody that's sick or whatever it is, they, that may be the only opportunity in their life for a touch from God. Amen. So Amen. it's a just, it's, 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 I can't really put into words and to be able to do it, you know, with family, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. It's really what we were created to do. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Amen. I love that. We were created for this and we were called for such a time as this Amen. in the kingdom. Talk to us about those people that will say, well, God will perform a miracle in the third war nation where there is so much need, but I don't think God can move in the States. I don't think God can move in this situation. Talk to those people that feel like they need a miracle, but yet there's so much doubt in their hearts. Yeah, I, I probably, there was times in my life where I would have been one of those people. And um, I think that God puts us in places to show us how good he really is. You know, God, I've seen miracles in many foreign nations, but I've also seen the same miracles 
in this country. Amen. And I've seen God do the impossible in this country. And I believe Amen. it's faith. It's, it's God is who he said that he is. And it's, it's, it's us believing and it's getting ourselves out of the way so yes. that God can come in and do what only God can do. And you know, there's, there's many times when you may pray on somebody. We've, we've prayed on people. I, may, I remember many times praying on somebody and maybe we don't see the miracle right then. Yes. But then you may come back the next night and that person that was in a wheelchair is jumping in the front row. Amen. So we, we, we go out and we do what God's called us to do and God does what only God can do. That's it, that's it. I love it as a good friend, Andrew says, you have to believe, you have to step out in faith. As the word says in Luke chapter one, verse 37, for there is nothing impossible for God. Until next time, this has been Behind the Sound. We wanna thank you for watching. If you wanna know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.